Hey all here at OS Reviews, a few months back we did a review on the Kano Computing Kit, a very unique DIY product that allows you to learn how to build a computer and then some basic programming languages like Python and BYOB slash Snap. So it's introduced mostly at kids, but also those who maybe want a you know lighter introduction to these concepts. It's a very fascinating product and it, we really enjoyed uh, the overall experience because it was so simple to set up and use. So today we're taking a look at another one of their products. Products. It's the Harry Potter wand, also from Kano, and this time we obviously don't have a display anymore, but the wand itself uses Bluetooth to connect to either a tablet uh, using Android or iOS, or it can also connect to your computer. It's definitely a practical skill to learn uh, and introduce to kids at a very young age, so this is a fun way to get them involved with that. All right, packaging here is pretty simple, and on the back it just says you can build the wand yourself, so it still includes that DIY component. So this is officially licensed uh, you know, with the Harry Potter franchise, so that's why they can use all these logos here, and the packaging here is very well done. It's presented in a actually a very beautiful way, so you open it up, it says how to make a coding wand, and there is some fabric on top, so very carefully wrapped. We have the wand itself, made out of plastic, but has all of these textures to make it feel more like wood. And this is just kind of a stem. And inside here we have the parts, including the kind of microcontroller. Here's the buttons that you would then put onto the top, as well as the other side, which is basically a door for the wand. And we also have a lanyard, kind of like a Nintendo Wii, to prevent it from flying out of your hands when you're waving it in the air. All right, and the instructions here again are very simple. It just says uh, what the various parts correspond to. Pick up this piece. It's called a printed circuit board or a PCB looking at all the parts here. And there is an explanation for the three sensors controlling gravity, speed, and direction. And here goes the door, which just locks into place. And we are done. So you can remove this door whenever you need to swap out the battery, for instance, and the button here is now clickable. I also want to point out that there are actually two sets of AAA batteries included, so there's an extra set as well, which is pretty nice. Alright, so we've made the wand. The last thing that you get in the box are actually stickers. So same thing as on the Kano computing kit. There's actually quite a few stickers that you can use to customize the wand or your computer with, but uh, these are also in the theme of Harry Potter, including different pills and potions that you can use. And there's even what looks like a poster. It's a guide for all the spells you can cast, such as Reducio, Shrinking Charm, there's uh, Incendio, Fire Making Spell. So that is actually pretty cool. So let's take a look at the app next. Alright, so I've downloaded the app on this Android tablet, simply called Kano Code. You do need to have a tablet that has a display size of 7 inch or larger for the app to work. So if you're using a smartphone that has a smaller display, the app will actually not be optimized for that experience. You do want you to have a larger canvas to work with. Uh, and again, you can use a computer as well. Let's turn on Bluetooth. Tap on the power key once, and you can see the LED light here start to change various colors. And it's found our device, and it's currently in the process of pairing. Immediately, we have a firmware update. So there is a blinking blue LED that is also happening on the wand. And tap on done. And we have the Harry Potter theme music. Turning the volume down there, let's just tap on one of these keys. It says learn how the coding wand works. And let's start by centering the coding wand. Point at the middle of the screen and press its button. So if I kind of move it around, you can see the position is also moving around on screen, which is pretty cool. So that's just an introduction to the sensors on board, and then you can probably start coding. Uh, pretty soon. And indeed, the interface does remind me a lot of something like BYOB or Snap. So you have these code blocks which have different commands that you can simply drag around instead of typing them out uh, to simplify things. But the concepts are still the same. So things like uh, recursion, for instance, you can learn by dragging these blocks. So read the instructions here, drag blocks and connect them cr to create code. The yellow beacon shows up uh, when you can proceed to the next step. So let's tap on next. Let's pick this up over here and uh, connect this block down below. It is pretty cool that this is uh, fully working and it seems to be quite smooth on an Android uh, device. So they've done a pretty good job of integrating everything. It knows that our wand isn't pointing at the tablet's display 
uh, based on the X and Y position, but if we point it here, that little message on the bottom there goes away. And it's actually using JavaScript for kind of the code that's running underneath. So you can see that as we wave our wand back and forth, indeed the color of the potion is starting to change, and that is actually working pretty well. But this is a little bit small, we can also full screen this uh, visual here to make that easier to see. Blocks which are in a blue color are meant for control, uh, the orange ones are meant for math, we also have a, a lighter orange for variables, so all of these different ones are color coded to be consistent. So here's another example, let's try and kind of drag these blocks over. Basically, as uh, I wave my wand, it's not going to change colors randomly for these puff balls. So let's full screen the experience here, and as I'm waving again, these are changing colors. I can tap on JavaScript to take a look at actual code like this, which the computer interprets and then runs. So you can see these line by line, so you can jump back and forth if you want to get a little bit deeper. And I can tap on the wand here, it says it's connected, I can set up a new wand if I wanted to, I can also tap on this to take a look at my profile, and as I complete different challenges, I will also gain level points, and as the levels get uh, harder and harder, again you'll get longer and bigger challenges to complete. There is a mystery avatar accessory, so some bonus products that you can get and collect uh, objects along the journey. Here's another code for creating magical fuzz, which is interesting, and the wand color I also set to white, so I can control that over here in real time. And if I wanted to set it to a different color, I can tap on this, you get an entire spectrum of colors to choose from, and again it will change in real time as well. Now we've changed the motion of flicking up to be green, flicking down to be red, and also the motion corresponding with the lights versus red when we flick down. So it's actually matching the real colors that are popping up on the display. All right, so those are all the small challenges on the wand, and there are many of those, uh, over again, 70. I can also tap on play over here to just uh, directly launch into several of these modes, such as uh, having feathers appear. So this is kind of an app that's already kind of written for you, so again, if I try and point it out here and just draw something, you can kind of hear it uh, vibrating along as you are shaking. So it does really remind me of a Wii in that sense. There's a vibration sensor as well, which is pretty cool. And uh, again, basically the beans just get larger and larger as you cast the spells. And here's one which is kind of a drawing app. So it has this feather up here on screen, and I can just scribble away in random different colors. All right, so exiting out of this, uh, the next tab over is Kano World, so you can check out creations by other people and they can share it around the world. This is all within the context of the Harry Potter wand. It doesn't include creations from the computer kit that we saw previously. So it's all going to be demos that people can save or kind of states within their game that people have saved after completing a chunk of code and they've just published it to the web that you can then tap on and the code is already there so you can just play around with it. As a whole, I find it to be pretty smooth and responsive. No real lag or delays uh, when it comes to launching levels and the experience of the wand is also working very well. The Bluetooth range is around 10 meters or 30 33 feet, so as long as you're within the same room, you can actually step back a little bit and it will still be responsive. So that's the Kano Harry Potter Coding Wand, another very unique and pretty successful educational tech product in my opinion from this company. It's uh, very fun to play around with, the motion sensors are surprisingly accurate, and the fact that you can definitely pick up coding foundations and kind of learn JavaScript using the app is also pretty cool, I think. Potential downsides, I do wish they would have used a rechargeable battery as opposed to just regular uh, triple A's just because you know having something like a ability for it to charge it using micro USB I think would have been worth it in the long run. It's going to be cheaper than the Kano computing kit. It's essentially half the price of that. Uh, with that being said the hardware value of the Kano computing kit is definitely higher because you get an actual display, there's actually Wi-Fi, there's a Raspberry Pi involved. But as far as what you actually learn if you already have a smartphone tablet or a computer this is something that comes very close and also makes the process more interesting interactive because of the motion element. So you can check out more details about the Harry Potter uh, coding wand and links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.